Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. On the last episode, we uh, had our now what moment where we tried to figure out now what. Uh, now that the story is over, we headed over to the survival area because Fake Buck told us to go over there and unlocked his house, which turned out to be a giant cafe called the Battleground, which is where all of the gym leaders and stat trainers and uh, Blaine and Lucas hang out whenever. Uh, you know, for rematches, and they're gonna be super duper powerful. So that could be annoying. <laughs> but, you know, other than that, we uh, found out that training now, now allows us to fight her at her strongest, so that's good. Professor Oak mentioned a couple of quests that we could go do, including, you know, that the legendary birds are now in play, uh, along with Lugia and Ho-Oh, but he has a clear wing and he needs the birds for it to do something. Uh, we also found out where some more portals were, like behind the Valley Windworks, and there was one at the very, almost at the top of Mount Cornet. And, uh, yeah, so we're starting to figure out where there's some, possibly gonna be some Pokemon at. So, on this episode, we're gonna start going for some of these legendary Pokemon. But, we're not gonna go for the ones that were added in the Renegade Platinum versions. Nah, -uh. Let's go for the vanilla ones, because why not? They're the normal ones to go for, and they are... They've been waiting for us for a while. So we're in Sand Gem Town because I did quickly, in between this episode and last episode, finally grab those Pokemon that I had yet to grab. So. So we finally got our Turtwig, which I named Herbert, and we got our Chimchar, which I named Charlie. <laughs> and uh, what else? Oh, we got the got the Lapras that was from Pastoria City and named it Estelle. So we got those ones now. Hooray! Those are the ones that we hadn't picked up yet. But we're not after those basic ones. We're right next to Lake Verity. So let's go into the center of Lake Verity and find out what the heck we need to do. Hi, Lucas. So we've been able to get this Pokemon since we defeated Cyrus and got back from the p Distortion World. And I've been putting them off because, you know, they're legendary Pokemon. Every every single game we play through, we get to the legendary Pokemon section and it's gonna, it's gonna be annoying. Especially when we had to try and get Giratina and that fight took us a little longer than we expected. Was there any other legendary Pokemon that we've tried to go for? Eh, no, not really. Not that I can remember, but yeah, uh, three catch rate, which means stupid, stupidly difficult. Thankfully, they decided to give the Lake Trio uh, a very good boon for us in that they're in caves. So we already have a good Pokeball to use for them. There's me spirit or mess spirit. Now that I think about this, I think I'm about to be screwed. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Lake Verity. Because in the back of my mind, something's telling me, oh yeah, one of these Pokemon becomes a roaming Pokemon. Uh, and I think it's Miss Spirit. <laughs> so... We might be out of luck here. Game locations, it's a roaming. Okay, well, maybe they changed it. What am I starting with? I guess I'm starting with Kendrick. They changed it. I had to wait for the drop. All right, so changes from the original game. It looks like it's been, it's been boosted 10 levels. That's fine. Also, it's supposed to be a roaming Pokemon, which means when we talk to it, because this one's the stubborn one, since we live in 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 a since we live in Twin Leaf Town we're, and our, our nearbyness to Lake Verity, it's like oh, this one has like a weird connection with us, the protagonist. 
So when we eventually come to go catch it, it decides, no, 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 no. We're gonna toy with you a little bit and it's gonna run and it's gonna be a roaming Pokemon. So we have to chase it down that way. The other two lake Pokemon, those ones are normal. Uh, it's this one that's the stubborn one, you know? Cause it's like, oh, well, I know you a little bit more, but let's get a little bit more of a challenge for me. So thank God for that. Uh, it is a psychic type as are all of the uh, lake trio. I mean, that's the difference between the previous uh, trios and this one, is that they're all psychic, and they're all like, I mean, we've seen them all, they're all like pixie Pokemon. Uh, maybe its type has been changed, I don't know. Is its catch rate actually three still? Yeah, it sure is. All right, well, okay, well, let's do our thing and put it asleep. I should've thrown a quick ball. Oh, it's already asleep. Oh, it's trying to go to sleep. Ooh, I don't know how to hurt it and not hurt it too much, which is going to be the problem now. Because none of my Pokemon can still learn False Swipe, and I hate it. Okay, let's see. Bug Dug, Ghost, and Dark, Fighting and Psychic are half damage, so it's going to bed. Let's switch over to Fighting and Psychic, Fighting and Psychic. What's our weakest fighting move? Uh, that would be Brick Break on Rosa. Luckily, Rosa can't be hurt by psychic moves. Ooh, the sandstorm is awful, though. I might want to get Sunny Day out <laughs> to prevent this from uh, doing too much chip damage and killing it. All right, it's asleep now. I need to get my catch calculator out just to see. Let's see, Gen 4 catch rate calculator. Let me find out what its best chance is. I can't, I can't type letters. Okay, let's see. I'm in a cave. Let's say its health is, oh boy. It's asleep. <laughs> All right, so under the best circumstance, I'm gonna have like a 7% chance of catching this thing. E. That's how I get it down to like nothing. Wow, that did nothing. Okay. What sucks is that it has rest. So it's gonna put its, it's gonna wake up. Constantly. Uh, I mean, right now, my odds are at 4%. <laughs> so, it's not great, but it's at least there. So maybe I just start throwing balls at it. I do have a lot of dusk balls, because it is in a cave. So we should get the multiplier for it being in a cave. But the odds of it actually getting caught are very, very low. You know what? I'm happy it shook once. Oh god, it woke up. And it used rest. Okay. So... So yeah, it being asleep is going to be very helpful, but it being constantly going back to sleep is not going to be helpful. So... I'm gonna send out Anthony so that Anthony can use Sunny Day so it gets rid of the Sandstorm. I might need to make a Pokemon that is a False Swiper for these. And I have, a, I have a good idea of what I could do. There's a couple of Pokemon I could do. Really depends on, uh, if I'm allowed to. Let's hit it with a Psycho Cut to see how much damage it does. I, I gotta be careful with Anthony because Anthony can crit. Oh boy. All 
Alright, just do a Leaf Blade. Just do a normal attack. Don't crit it, please. Because then you just need to get it down into, like, yellow. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Oh, thank God it's still here. So, if this was, like, a normal playthrough of a normal game, it w I, that would have been it. And I would have been, I would have been uh, out of luck of trying to ever get it again. So, I'm glad that that's not the case. Okay, let's see. If I just use a quick ball off the rip. Let's take a look. It's not asleep. I have a quick ball. That's not great odds. <laughs> it's basically saying, oh yeah, you got 2%. Ugh. All right, well. Back in we go. So I have a couple of options that I could do for potential Pokemon to help me with. <laughs> I, I think I have a Ralts, which I could evolve. We'll look at we'll look we'll look in our PC. I might have a Shroomish, or else I'm thinking of the the Mew. Okay, so Surf is too much. So I can't use an attack that powerful. Hey, this is a free way to get some experience. Okay, so Surf is not good. Ice Beam, let's check it. Let's let's see what Ice Beam can do. I'm just trying to get like a damage amount like what's a good move I can use that'll hurt it to get it into either orange or red health okay so it's currently in red I can't do much against it I'm just gonna toss a dusk ball and hope it's 3% it's gonna go to bed so I'll just hit it with an Ice Beam after this. Which will help. Oh, you're being stubborn now, huh? I don't want to use Yawn, because I know you have Rest. This might be where Timer Balls come into play. Alright, well, it didn't shake the last two times. How did timer balls work again? <laughs> timer ball. Let's see. So timer ball doesn't get up into its like good modifier. Ooh, but I think the I think the dusk ball is already. The Dusk Ball is like, what, times three? No, it's better than Dusk Balls after 26 turns. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, this is what, turn... I don't know what turn it is. Turn four, I think. It's not gonna end up using... It's not going to end up using Rest unless I switch to a Pokemon that can be hurt by... Maybe I do, but just use Yawn on it. It'd be better than if it used Rest and healed itself. Oh, Charm. My poor attack. This is going to be expensive with Dust Balls. I'm glad these aren't doing too much damage. Alright, there we go. It's asleep. Which has boosted my odds up into the up into seven. So I'm at like max odds. Great.
like I said, I don't think there's any better. Nope, there's no changing its current uh, catch catch rate. Seven percent as good as I'm gonna get it until like turn 26. I'm not keeping track of the turn counts though, which sucks. I really should. All I have to do is when it when it wakes up, uh, just use Yawn on it again. There it goes. Uses charm. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the next turn to heal myself instead of go for a worse catch rate just because it's, it is hurting me. And I don't want Kendrick to faint because if Kendrick faints, then I have to switch to a different Pokemon, and then it might rest. And asleep it goes. If you could shake at least more than once, I would feel very good. It might not catch, I would just feel good. I'm also not looking forward to doing this, like, 10 plus times. <laughs> because we gotta do it to the other two Lake Trio members. There's Heat Ran. There's the legendary... There's, a le there's the... Uh... There's the two that are up at the top of the mountain. But I think their catch rate's better than three. There's quite a few more, like the legendary birds and the legendary beasts and the Reggies. Oh, now it's shaking twice. Doesn't mean much. Am I faster than it? I am. That might be, that might be because I'm almost 30 levels higher than it. Oh, come on, it says I have a 50% chance of at least getting it within 10 Pokeballs. Which, I mean, so far is... We've definitely thrown more than 10 at it. Oh, you suck! Alright, well, I gotta hit it now. But it went to bed on its own. That's not what I wanted. Because I, you know... It might do a little bit more. It might do a little bit less damage. I just needed to be in the red. Okay, that did a little bit more. But, I mean, we were already at max odds. Well, max odds with the ducks, with a dusk ball. This is a ROM hack. I could just give myself master balls. <laughs> That would kind of kill the whole, like, catch them all thing, but catching legendaries are so annoying. I do have one. What am I saving it for? Oh, I know what it is. No! All right, well, we must be getting close to that magic number now, right? Above 26. Would have been very nice if I had like my my notepad next to me and I was keeping track. Them having rest sucks, because I don't know if the other two are gonna have it, and if they do, ugh, I don't even want to think about it. 
Hold on, let's see. If I have a timer ball... There are 26 turns. It, okay, so the Dusk Ball is three and a half times effective. Dusk Ball can go up to four after 30 turns. So... It won't be the biggest change. Let's just say it's turn 30. Eight percent. Okay, it goes up a whole percent. I'm getting it with the two shakes. Uh... It's gonna run out of rests eventually. And that's when I'll finally win. How many Dusk Balls? I think I started with 70. Uh, well, let's uh, do that. This is definitely my fourth Ice Beam. Four Ice Beams, I used a healing thing. I've used Yawn a couple times. And at least 20 Dusk Balls, I must be there. Wait, do I have timer balls? I have six! I didn't buy those! I bought repeat balls instead! Aw! Oh. Didn't even shake. Didn't even shake. Okay, well, uh, timer balls are out of the table now. I don't have enough for them. At least not enough to justify using them all. Oh boy. It didn't use rest. Oh, but it's currently... Currently going to be a pain. Okay. You you got this, Kendrick. This is going to be an this is going to be an annoying series of episodes. I have time between this one and the next one to get like starting like start the training process of a false swiper. So it'd be so helpful. I could do. I could train. I could train a couple. I should get my Pokemon up to level 100. That's what I should do. I mean, I have Trainee and I have seven rare candies. When do Nest Balls become effective? Against lower level Pokemon, huh? Oh, but it's dependent on their actual level. Not like how lower level they are compared to me. Or not. Or maybe it is. It's lower level Pokemon. Okay, so maybe maybe that is how it works. Not like how I thought it is. To sleep. Has it shaken three times yet? I'm gonna hate it if this one's the annoying one. Cause it'd be it'd be in character if this one's the annoying one. I, I get the other two in like five each.
What sucks is that I can't rely on, like, getting in a different status effect because it could use rest and get rid of its status effect. Oh, well, there it goes. So much for my rest. How much... How much... Okay, so rest only has five, and I think that's the fifth rest that's used. So, I think it's done using rest. So, it won't be putting itself to sleep anymore. Unless the game cheats. This is not the time for me to KO it. After I put so much time into hurting it. Come on, 7%. Didn't even shake. <laughs> I'll shut up now. I could just be, like, super-duper unlucky. It woke up. If, uh, if it can't use rest anymore, then this is, this is as far low as its HP gets to go. But I'm running out of yawns. I do have... Wait, do I have leopard berries? I have ethers. What a, what a magical use of ethers. <laughs> I have two ether, so I don't have a lot. I have three Lepa Berry. I should get some more Lepa Berries. Because they're so useful. Isn't this your sixth rest? It's not like Generation 1 where you have unlimited PP. No, 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 no. You have limited amounts of, of moves. Uh. And here I thought these would be like 15 minute episodes as I try and go for each of them. Forgetting that these guys are stupidly annoying. <laughs> I'm sure the timer ball is effective is at its most effective at the moment. Can you imagine trying to catch it with an ultra ball? Ultra ball's times two. Dusk ball's three and a half. You woke up just to go back to bed. Why do you have more than five rests? I'm trying to see if there's like any... Oh, it was at, it's at 10 prior to Generation 9. Oh, I was wondering why it was said 5. I was like, oh, it must be a mistake. Uh. Okay, so you that's your 7th rest. Which means you have 3 more. I will win this Battle of Attrition. Heck, let's start using timer balls. I have them. 8%. Let's go. I would have hated it if that was the first time I shook three times.
Come on! My attack won't go any lower. Do I dare use Yawn? It's gonna use Rest. And I'm gonna feel the fool. Yep. <laughs> yep! I should have just done nothing. All right. Ice beam it again. I will have to rework this strategy cuz this is this is I already hate this. <laughs> It's about time. When Mesmerit flew, people learned the joy and sadness of living. It was the birth of emotions. Yep, all right, what name am I giving you? Eh, that's kind of fitting, I guess. Jewel. Oh, you are annoying. Well, that's one of the lake. That's one of the lake trio done. Uh. All right, hold on. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go take a look. We gotta take a peek. I need to see what Pokemon I have because I think in between this episode and next episode, I'm going to make a monster. Also, I might just level up all my other Pokemon 100, so... I won't have to worry about their levels anymore. Which is a shame, because I won't have to- I won't have to see them like- I won't- We won't have to do like the little level up thing anymore. Which will actually be beneficial, because it'll save me a lot of time. <laughs> Alright. Let's put you in your spot. Right there. Do I have... I do have a Shroomish. I have a Breloom. Okay, cool. That's good. Breloom is a good Pokemon that I could give False Swipe to. Because it can also learn Spore. Which puts Pokemon to sleep. Ooh, it has Technician as well? Ooh, that's good. I might level up Brianna here. But do I have a Ralts? I don't think I actually have a Ralts. I know where to get Ralts. Do I have a Gallade? It'd be weird if I had a Gallade and not a Ralts. Okay, I don't. So maybe we go with Breloom. The unfortunate thing about Breloom is that it's part fighting, so it's gonna be weak to uh, the Lake Trio. Well, maybe the grass negates it? It does not. <laughs> All right, well. You'll do your best, I, 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 I hope. Well, I'll also go buy more timer balls, and I'll make sure I have my notepad next to me so I know which turn it is. So... That was slightly annoying. Then hey, our Pokedex went up by one. Hooray! All that for one Pokemon. Uh, when do when do, when does catching legendaries get easier? Generation six. <laughs> Gen At some point, they decide I'm not going to give the legendaries catch rate three anymore, or they give me ways to make that a lot easier, like quick balls. Ugh. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. On the next episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum, we'll be heading over to Lake Valor, since we're, we're going to be going to these in order of when we saw them, or pass by them. So, you know, next is Lake Valor, then we'll do Lake Acuity, and then I guess the one after that would be, well, we'll talk about that later. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. <laughs>